If your restaurant growth has stalled or you've been impacted by the pandemic, staffing shortages, recent spikes in the cost of goods or minimum wage increases, then what you're about to see will be a shocking revelation. You'll not only see exactly how to get a flood of new customers in the next seven days, but you'll also discover how a new breed of restaurant owner has pivoted into a brand new way of doing business post COVID that's leaving other restaurants in the dust and increasing the average order value from three to five X. If you care about surviving this great shift and growing your restaurant in what cricks are calling the new land grab, this will be the most important few minutes you spend on your restaurant all year. So sit back, take note, and let's watch right now. To keep the coronavirus from spreading. People are still taking a lot of precautions. The streets here are unusually quiet. The National Restaurant Association estimates about a quarter of all restaurants to close as a result of this pandemic. Because of COVID-19, we were shut down for all dine-in business. And I honestly didn't know, you know, if we were going to be able to survive on just takeout and delivery. They were able to help me get my campaign up and going so fast. I was crushed by COVID. I didn't know what to do. I already knew I needed a plan that was better than everybody else's. Up until that point, I was the one managing our, uh, our digital assets, and that was uh, and by no means as effective as Skytail has been. And ever since we signed up with Skytail, things have turned around. Every restaurant, every business in general should have a sales and marketing team. Um, we're the team for you. We've been able to add about $10 million in revenue for our restaurant clients. They're able to track everything down to the penny and they're able to scale their businesses. And in this uh, economic climate, uh, things are going okay, you know, and it's a grind, but um, it's our passion. So, um, and bringing Luke's company on, uh, it's actually been pretty good. We're seeing uh, new faces every day. They have a system that easily allows you to track their results, which is something I really appreciate because most marketing, you don't really know exactly how effective it is. We work with a restaurant up in Indiana. And in January of 2021, when coronavirus was still very, very prevalent. They were doing about 40% of their sales compared to the prior year, pre-COVID. Uh, you know, the restaurant is a great place. They have amazing burgers, great beers. And prior to working with us, the owner there, Miguel, was looking around and saw so many empty tables, but was so frustrated. Um, so he approached us and of course, now by working with us, he's actually doubled his weekend sales. And they were so busy one of the weekends that they ran out of product and they had to close down um, for an entire day. Not because of the lack of customers, but because of supply chain issues, which of course is a really good problem to have. That shift, I was getting pissed off because I was running out of product. Actually today, Monday, we had to close down because our weekend was so busy that we're actually out of product again. Our sales on the weekends have doubled. And that's just an example of the right investments into your business, it doesn't matter if it's during coronavirus or, or, or post-coronavirus, these things work. Another example, we work with a restaurant up in Minnesota. Doug's the owner here. Um, Doug has an awesome restaurant. They, they like to promote, eat local, drink local. Prior to working with us, they didn't do any advertising. Really good restaurant, really good business. And um, Doug there, he knew that his potential was, you know, north of $2 million. And they were doing about 1.6. By working with us, they've actually hit record sales numbers in June of 2020. During the middle of coronavirus, they were, they were even shut down for no dine and only takeout. I was a little bit cautious and nervous about it at first, uh, just like we all are with our money. and. Um, so Luke was great to work with and uh, it's just, it's been great for us and not to even mention, uh, I was just talking about uh, last month and we just had a record month last month. You know, Doug realized that he needs to make an investment into his business and actually do things that move the needle and get the word out.
So given my experience working in the restaurant marketing space for about 10 years, I've seen countless companies promise the world and then underdeliver. The reason why watching this movie right now is so important for you is because you're in a cold red. Your business is at stake right now. Every single minute that goes by and, there, and your tables are not full, that's the last revenue for you. So the time is now to get customers into your business and actually make that investment into long-term growth, but also growth that works right away in the short term as well. Eight out of 10 businesses fail, right? It's just, a, it's a it's hard fact and it's tough to swallow. But one thing that changes all of that is sales. Sales is the most important thing that fixes all the problems. There are people living within one mile of your restaurant who need to know about your business and they're waiting to spend money with you. We just got to get in front of them. So the reason why you need to take advantage of this now is because this works instantly and if you're not doing it, your competitors definitely are. But I grew up in, in, in Russia in the 1990s, so if, a little bit of history about that is that's when the USSR was falling apart completely. There wasn't a whole lot of capital flowing you know, to the country, let alone not the orphanages. So uh, my parents passed away when I was young, and then I actually were, I was in two different orphanages. And the second one I was at, that's when I spent about 10 years there or so, yeah, it was extremely competitive. You had to, you had to you had to perform well with, whether you're playing sports or you had to perform well in school because of course if you're doing well you do have a higher likelihood of you know, being adopted into the United States. And we used to think that if you ate McDonald's you were really rich. So that's a really funny story. I remember always thinking like if I get a chance to eat McDonald's and come back to Russia and tell my friends that is going to be the biggest the biggest deal in the world. And so I did. I actually had McDonald's in Moscow and then I had McDonald's here when I visited and uh, it really was an amazing experience and it is as good as, as it looked on TVs back then when I was young. So My sport was soccer, so I played soccer all the way, played it pretty competitively in college. Uh, I tried out to play for a combine as well. I tried to go professional, that didn't work out and here I am running the business with my best friend. So I've always been super competitive. I don't like to get into things that I know I'm not going to win at, or at least try my best to win. So those two are the biggest takeaways for me. I played basketball ever since I could walk, basically from five years old all the way through high school and I played in college as well. What I loved about that was the competition and that's something that really just drove me and I always wanted to be the best. I think it taught me a lot about you know, what's possible. I've always had that itch to be great and I didn't really know exactly what that was. Didn't make it to the NBA and I, that, that didn't happen. Um, but you know, th that translates into business uh, because everything that a business owner wants, of course, is success and, and profits and customers. Uh, but what we realized is that you have to make moves to get there. You have to invest money, time, all these things. And a lot of times it's not easy. For any business owner, the, the amount of success that, that you have is the amount of reps you put in, trying different things, uh, making educated decisions, um, really, really help. Um, I've been working in the restaurant industry for about the past decade myself, and I've seen really what it takes to be successful and what, what downfalls um, a lot of restaurant owners do have. So when we first started Skytail Digital, you know, things weren't as smooth as they are, for example, today. We had just a handful of clients. We didn't necessarily have the best growth strategies for them, and we had to try a lot of different things. So essentially, we had to take, honestly, years of experience and really just condense it and boil it down to what works the best. Skip forward to today, we really tailored our strategy and really condensed years and years of experience to give you the best possible product right from the start. So prior to Skytail Digital, I worked for a different restaurant marketing company. We were a big tech company out of San Francisco. And what I realized during those years working for this restaurant marketing company was there were so many companies out there that overpromise and underdeliver. So many of them where it actually got underneath my skin and I get the chills now thinking about it. My partner Luke actually gave me a call while I was at my cabin and he's like, hey, I have a, a great opportunity. I'm working for this tech startup 
and what we're doing for restaurants is really not producing or giving them the result that we promised them. And they're paying a couple hundred bucks a month to literally get no results whatsoever. And when he gave me a call, it was like, boom. It was like an epiphany. Light went off, I was like, wow, this is a perfect opportunity. I can take my investment management experience and understanding how technology works. And Luke, my partner, he knows the restaurant industry inside out. And so when we combine forces, and started Skytail Digital, that's when I really realized that we have something special. You know, you've got a million people cold calling you and sending you emails telling you that they can help you drive sales and profit and get you more customers, but nobody ever actually follows through on their promise. Uh, we realized that we could use the technology and the skills that I've uh, already developed um, to implement that for the restaurant owner and actually do it for them, getting them tangible results um, and most importantly, a return on their investments and following through on our promise um, from the beginning. For your customers, they're going to be worth about $6,000 to you, and this is according to the NRA. If you look at the population that lives in your city or your town, say for example, you have 50,000 people in your town, or maybe you're in a larger city, there's a half a million people. If you take 90% of that number, you can reach all of them through social media. So at the push of a button, you have control to communicate with all of these people and all of these people's eyeballs, guess where they are? They're on their phone. So all their attention is on their phones and you have to meet them where they are. If you're not sending them messages, if they're not seeing your content on their phones, chances are they're gonna go somewhere else. The restaurant industry is, is, a, is a very rough industry. You really gotta wake up every single morning and if you have a game plan in place and you think that that actually is going to take place throughout the day, most likely you're wrong because there's always things pulling you from the inside, from the outside. You always gotta be solving problems. So it's a very busy industry. It's a very uh, low profit industry and it takes just a lot of work to uh, just to maintain, let alone being able to scale and, and take it to the, to the next level. And they're just, they don't know what to do. So they're stuck and they don't do anything because they feel like investing money into advertising and growth uh, is, an, is, a, is an expense and not an actual asset that produces for them. One massive advantage that I have and our company has you know, as being younger generation, if you want to call it that, is we really are experts at knowing all of these platforms, but most importantly, we know how to get you results. It's not just knowing how to operate them and post things, but it's about how to take those platforms and actually get tangible results on the back end. And results to your restaurant, of course, mean you know, more sales, more people visiting, you opening up more restaurants, and so forth and so on. So we help restaurant owners run profitable advertisements. Advertisements that immediately generate more customers. And the great thing all of our clients love about this is that they don't have to do any of the work and they can track it all to the penny. And there's a guest that came in as a result from one of our ads and she's lived there for 10 years, but has never been in that restaurant. And this is a very small town, about 15,000 people. So. Small community has never been in that restaurant and she drives past the restaurant every single day. Through our advertising, um, we actually were able to get her into the restaurant and it's pretty mind-blowing. We actually, we've actually tracked her visits um, ever since she's visited that first time and she's visited every month for the past year. People just need to know that these restaurants exist and that they can go there and have those amazing experiences that everybody wants to have. Word of mouth is what restaurant owners talk about a lot. You know, you have a, a, a restaurant in your community and you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago, everybody talked about that restaurant. Tell your friends about, hey, I had a great experience at this restaurant and that's where everybody would go. Skip forward to today, you have such a big noisy world. One of the biggest things that restaurant owners need to start understanding is that they're not just a restaurant any longer, right? They, they are a marketing company that's selling food, right? You're competing with professional athletes, celebrities, uh, you know, movie stars, you're competing for attention. So it is really important to think about your restaurant as a marketing company that's selling food and selling an atmosphere and yeah. selling a great experience. And with technology, it is very possible to do that nowadays. This is Business Rockstars. 
nothing really has happened to the restaurant industry like this since probably you know, the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. So this has really decimated the restaurant industry. And of course, because we're working with restaurants, it's affected our business quite a bit as well. But ever since we really bounced back nicely, it looks like things are opening back up mm -hmm. and the restaurants are starting to see a rebound. What makes you guys right. different? Right. Well, I think what, what makes us different is, first of all, the problem most restaurants have is that they're not doing any advertising because they don't have the expertise or the time to even do it. Or they are advertising and they have no clue if it's working. They're spending money, they can't track it. It's just a guessing game. Advertising, if done correctly and done in a proven way, should be something where if you put one dollar in, you know, you get three bucks back, or you get ten back, or eighteen back, or twenty back. And a lot of a lot of restaurant owners and just business owners in general, they don't see it that way because they've never experienced that type of growth or numbers before. I think it's just a big common misconception that a lot of restaurant owners have and it's just simply not true. How do you help them reframe marketing from being an expense to being something that is an absolute profit generator? Sure, sure. Well, if you look at marketing, there's really two ways of doing things. It's the old way and the new way. The old way, it doesn't work that well anymore. This is a new world, and if you look at, you know, if you have an iPhone, you look at how long you're on your phone every day, most people, it's four to eight hours. So that's where people's attention is, and if you're doing things the old way, it can totally be an expense and it can be a waste of money. But the new way of doing things, it's more of like an asset. One of the other big kind of misconceptions about a restaurant owner or the restaurant industry is that you know, they have to be kind of thrifty and cheap, right? Like it's just a natural thing for them to be just a little bit thrifty, a little bit cheap, not really invest a whole lot into their business. And I believe that's actually not true simply because if you really think about it, just to open up a restaurant and to actually have a restaurant, it takes upwards of a quarter million dollars in some cases. So the restaurant industry and the restaurant owners are not thrifty or cheap, but when it comes down to their advertising, they forget to take that extra step and really continue investing and continue growing their business because they've, they've kind of got halfway to that point. And one of the things I love that you said is you're, you're, you're not a restaurant, you're a marketing company. Right. And that's the biggest shift that I think most businesses in general need to make. And obviously on Business Rockstars, we talk with so many different businesses. Sure. And when you make the shift to understanding every business is in the business of marketing. Exactly. Yes. And if you're not, you're probably struggling. What is the true cost of having an empty restaurant Right? What is the true cost of constantly being stuck working in your business, having the same inefficiencies that you had seven years ago? We worked with a lot of restaurants up until now where they've been stuck at 80 grand a month or 120 a month for the past six years. And there's no growth, it's, it's stagnant. And so you know, with any, with any of our restaurant clients, they're now able to you know, open up more locations and be more profitable and you know, spend time with their family where they were stuck before and couldn't do those things. You have to first find time as a restaurant owner not to work in your business, but to work on your business. Right? And that goes for every business. For every single business. Yeah. And we can relate to this as well, of course. So once you find the solution to that, you can then train your employees and actually have the time to train your employees, retain your employees, and they are going to take care of your customer so your customer keeps coming back and giving you their business. The future value of those customers visiting uh, is just insane, right? The National Restaurant Association says that one restaurant customer is worth about $6,000 over their lifetime. So this is a long-term business strategy. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. In a lot of our restaurants' examples, they're making much greater returns than that. you got eight-to-one returns, you have 18 to one returns. You know, a lot of times those numbers beat any other forms of advertising, whether it's mailers or billboards or radios or you know other things like that. Another I think important statistic to focus on according to the SBA Small Business Association is that every small business, every restaurant that's doing anywhere between 10 to 15 percent profit margin, they're supposed to be spending 8 percent of their annual revenue on advertising and marketing. Now what we find from our experience is that you know, the seven and the eight figure restaurant owners that are really thriving despite of COVID or anything else that's thrown at them, they're the ones that really are following that specific number. They are spending five 
8-10% of their overall sales. Restaurant owners who are struggling and are falling behind, they're not spending that much money on advertising. So if you know that number alone, the 8% that you should be spending back to reinvest into your business and the growth, then the next question is, well, where the heck do I spend it? We were just trying things and certain things were just not working. You know, we were just throwing money out there, spend on ads and we're not, a, you know, our companies are not afraid to spend money on ads. So the ROI was just not there. And with Skytel, I've seen a difference that it was a huge improvement. I mean, that just generated so much business, you know, that um, we were just wowed by it. Now, with our system, we pick the, the platforms that perform the best from our experience. That's Facebook and Instagram. And then there, you can actually track how many people visit your store and your restaurant, how many people buy from you and how much money they spend with you down to the penny. We can tell you why they visited your restaurant. We can tell you if they had a great experience at your restaurant. And most importantly, how many people they brought with them and how many people they told about your restaurant. Those are the things that we focus on in comparison to just talking about how many likes you got or how many followers you have. Because as you very well know, with all of these challenges happening, like minimum wage going up to 15 bucks, you can't pay your employees with likes and shares. You can't blame restaurant owners for not spending that because the old way of doing marketing, advertising, getting the word out, it didn't generate the returns that we can do now. So this new way of doing things, now it actually makes sense to spend that money on advertising because it's proven and it works. Ultimately, our goal is to actually give the restaurant owner more control and just give them direct access to all these amazing tools that are out there without having to give away, you know, 15, 20, 30% to the big tech and the big delivery companies. There are a lot of big tech companies out there. There's, there are just a lot of companies in general that want to use your restaurant for their benefit. With our program, you're building this huge asset for yourself. You have a way to communicate with people locally. People aren't just going to be stampeding into your restaurant just for the sake of it, right? You open the restaurant, you've done all of the hard work. It's a sizable investment to make to open the restaurant, so you're halfway there. And then the next step is continuing making the right investments into your business so you can accomplish all of your goals, be that restaurant, be that business in the community that is consistently being talked about and is consistently profitable and you don't have to worry about other events like Corona or other things popping around the corner. We were literally hitting the same sales numbers week over week and you know, that's great, it's just, it, but it's not sustainable. You know, what happens when people move away or when natural disasters happen or, Phenomenons like, you know, COVID happens, you know, and we're stuck with not even being open. What we do is we come in and we analyze your current situation, see where there's missing gaps, and really plug in the pieces that actually drive real tangible results. You want to have a system in place and have the confidence that if you invest that thousand dollars on advertising, it's going to produce you maybe five or ten or fifteen thousand dollars in return that you can actually track. So that way, when you see that working, a light bulb goes off and you go, wow, well, what if I spend 2,000 bucks? You know, the more you can spend and the more you can track, and as long as you have the right strategies in place, you can start looking at advertising as really something that produces for you, right? It's not a liability of any kind. It's actually an opportunity for you to simply increase your business, keep your employees working, uh, and, and, you know, make your, pay your bills and take care of your family. You know, it, it worked, you know, it's, 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 it's a service that, you know, in the growing age of, of digital and social media and marketing and for restaurants, this is one of the ways that you can stay afloat and even try to gain f new business faster. And I think Skytail is really doing a wonderful job at making sure that all of their clientele not only understands how they're doing it, but what they're doing and actually gives them full control of how to do it. The way you fix problems like low profitability and of course getting yourself that time back so you can work on your business instead of in it is simply following a marketing calendar that is constantly producing for you and you don't have to worry about what you're doing tomorrow, next week, next month, and next year. So we give all of our restaurants a dashboard where they can log in and they can see at any time of the day how many people are coming in as a result of these advertisements, how much money they're spending with them, how many of those people who visited them are completely brand new, what the purpose was of their visit, how many people they brought with them. So it's full transparency 
and having that data available to them so they can make informed decisions every single day and, and by using the data that they've collected. A lot of our clients see people coming in immediately, usually within about a week. We just had a restaurant we launched with last week and they had 55 new customers in the first three days. So when we partnered up with Skytel Digital, um, it was a smooth transition and their timely manner on answering questions that I may have and getting it out was excellent. Um, if you're looking for a marketing strategy to take into your restaurant, I highly recommend Skytel Digital. Um, we have had great success with them and the cool thing is we can see it. Our brand recognition flew through the roof uh, when we first signed up with these guys, uh, working with them. Uh, all the content on Instagram and Facebook and the targeted ads uh, were crucial to helping grow my business over the last year. So here at Skytail Digital, we help restaurant owners run profitable advertisements. Advertisements that make you money. Also, the best part about this is that you don't have to do any work. You can track it all down to the penny and it works instantly. You don't have to wait six months to see this work. Doesn't matter what happens with Facebook in the future. Doesn't matter what happens with social media. You will be building a large database of people's contact information that we can communicate with forever. And of course, you own all of that data. It's a really simple concept that's really hard to do. If you can communicate with everybody locally, send them exciting offers, send them things that actually get them out of their couch and into your restaurant, you're gonna be successful for a very, very long time. I just want you to think about having a sales and the marketing department. Now, when I say that, that's what most restaurant owners think of our company, Skytail Digital, is that they're adding a sales and the marketing department to their restaurant. What's different about us is that we have so much experience in the industry and we've done all the hard work, we've done all the trial and error, so that when you sign up with us, you get a proven, battle-tested strategy that actually works. There's no more guessing games. Our goal is to give you much, much more in return than you ever pay us. With other companies, most of the time, what ends up happening is that they just want to take your money, they want to show you that you know, you get your business was exposed in front of you know, a couple hundred or a couple thousand people, and ultimately, how many likes and followers you get. But as you know, that doesn't pay the bills for you. You need actual sales, actual profit, and actual statistics that matter. So this works even if you've tried a million marketing companies in the past, even if there's a pandemic. This works even if you have zero Facebook followers. This works even if you've never advertised before. This works for every single type of restaurant in any demographics. It doesn't matter if you're in a big city or a small town, this will work for you. It works even if you don't have tech experience whatsoever. And most importantly, it works if you don't have any time. We're going to be doing the work for you so you can take your time and leverage it where it matters more. So here's what you get. When you sign up with us and become a client, you have an internal sales and marketing department that's working for you every single day. Also, there's this massive snowball effect that happens okay, over time. And, and right away, you're going to be building a database of contacts of people who live locally, who we can communicate with forever. Okay? Our goal is to deliver you return on investment. That's it, that's all we're focused on. And that's the main thing, is delivering you a return on your money. The plan structure actually produces results. For example, you probably are doing things right now that people don't even know about. You need to get the word out about them. But things like selling gift cards for Christmas. What about those heart-shaped pizzas for Valentine's Day? Right? What about St. Patrick's Day? Those are just three examples, but there are hundreds of examples throughout the entire year that we can do and plan for you. So you have the peace of mind that this next 12 months is gonna be the best 12 months you've ever had. We're going to be executing the advertisements for you. We're going to be doing email blasts. We're going to be doing text message blasts. We're going to be focusing on building messenger subscribers. All of those things, organic side of social media as well, 
Facebook Live videos, everything that you need to be successful in today's day and age, we're going to make sure that we help you do just that. So all of these things and plus much, much more is what's all included in our service and we'll do it on your behalf. So as you're watching this documentary, you're probably thinking, okay, now what is this going to cost me? Now the answer that I wanna give you to this question is, what is it going to cost you not to do this, right? What is it going to cost you not to book a call with us and actually have a conversation and make a commitment to take your business to the next level? Now, of course, as far as the dollar value and things like that, we'll be more than happy to address that on our call based on what needs you actually have. But I can promise you that A, is going to be a fraction of the cost of what it would take you to actually hire a full-time employee and B, we're going to do everything in our power to make you much more money in return than you ever put into an advertisement system with us. So number one, we're going to guarantee you full transparency and trackability. So you'll always know how much money you're making back in return, and we're going to give you all the metrics that you need to make the best possible decisions, okay? Number two, we're, we're guarantee you that we'll treat you like family. You're not just going to be another number. You're not just going to not be able to get a hold of someone when you need them. We're going to treat you like family because if we help you succeed, that means that we succeed as well. And finally, the most importantly is that we guarantee you results. Okay, we'll talk more about what that means on the call, but with our system, if you don't see results, if you don't see an increase in business, foot traffic, sales, and profits, then we will not charge you. You've made it to the very end of the documentary. Now let's be honest for a second. At this point, there's no going back, right? What you just learned, the information that you were just exposed to, you have to implement this information in order to get the kind of results that you want for your restaurant. And instead of just giving you the results, we guarantee you that even the call alone is going to be worth your time. So go ahead and book the call below so we can get on a brief 30 minute call and help you implement all of the strategies that you've learned today in our documentary to get you the absolute best results for your restaurant.